Hello and welcome. It's Kevin Doherty here from buildyourdreampractice.net and Dream Practice Coaching. And if you are a medical doctor who is looking to build a thriving private practice, this short video should really help you out. I want to share three key marketing tips that I think universally apply to the healthcare industry and the medical field. Uh, and these are tips that I often see are overlooked or flat out ignored. So our focus on in Dream Practice Coaching is normally with holistic and integrative health professionals. Uh, but we've worked with enough medical doctors at this point to know that many of these same principles apply to really any medical practice out there. And definitely when it comes to marketing a medical practice, these are tips you do not want to ignore. And like I said, I see that these tips are often overlooked in the medical industry. So let's go ahead and jump in. So most doctors never give much focus to marketing their practice. And by learning some basic marketing principles, you'll ensure the continued growth of your practice and secure a prosperous future. Effective marketing can also help you work with ideal patients, which I would define as those who will respond most favorably to your treatment. Now, what I'm noticing as a coach is that more medical doctors are becoming I think a little bit more selective about who they want to work with. You don't just want to work with anybody with a pulse in your practice, uh, especially if you have a, a cash-based practice, a private practice, and you work with people with chronic conditions. Uh, your fulfillment in private practice is largely based on how compliant, how motivated, uh, and, and just, you know, I would say how kind of high quality the patient is that you're working with. And high quality to me means that they're willing to do what you suggest, that they're willing to make lifestyle changes, and they're willing to take some responsibility for their health situation. So they're not really looking for just a magic bullet or just for their symptoms to be immediately or miraculously suppressed or removed. And I, you know, like I said, I've worked with enough medical doctors at this point to see that this trend is really, there's a lot of change happening right there. Uh, because more doctors want a long-term fulfilling practice. They want to work with people that can really respond a little bit more deeply to what they have to offer. So if that describes you, this video should really help you out. And marketing in and of itself is, is a process that enables you to attract the right people for your work. So the first key that I want to share is to set up a website that is optimized to get new patients. And I look at your practice website as really the, the hub of all the marketing that you do. Uh, and even if you've relied heavily on word of mouth and referrals to this point, having a really effective website is going to enhance word of mouth for sure. Uh, but, but having an effective website does so much for your bottom line uh, in terms of attracting the right people and attracting more of them. So the first thing that you want to make sure of on your medical website is that it has a high-end look and feel, and it combines warmth with professionalism. A lot of what I see on doctor websites is that they look generic, uh, they look sterile, uh, and honestly, a lot of them look cold to me. They just don't, they don't exude much warmth or uh, a feeling of care. So what people really want now is to feel like they can get to know you, to feel like they can build some sort of relationship with you, get to know you personally a little bit, and then make a buying decision in terms of how they're going to invest in their healthcare. So it really starts with how your website looks and how it feels to the visitor. And you just want to make sure that it has these, these two elements in place, warmth and professionalism. Most doctor websites are definitely professional, but I would say they lack warmth. And I think that's actually a repelling force for a lot of new people to your work. The second thing that I consider critical to have on your practice website is an opt-in form with free information to build your email list. So you want your website to be a way that you can stay in touch with people that are new to you and new to your practice. And if you don't have this in place, what's going to happen is people will come to your website and they'll be forced to make a decision to call you for treatment right away or to leave your website. And that's actually a little bit too severe of a choice. You want an intermediary step in place where you can get them on your email list 
and then you can at least stay in touch with them indefinitely and share a lot of great useful content with them uh, and that will definitely tip the odds in your favor that they're going to want to work with you at some point down the road. So a lot of people when they're out there doing research are not ready to buy like right this very minute. They want more information. Uh, they want to sit with it for a little bit and that's where email marketing and contact management, be management becomes key to your success. The third tip I have for you on your website is to make sure that you have benefit oriented copy which means that you're clearly speaking to the benefits of your work especially on the home page of your website. So you want to make sure that you're clearly stating how you help people, why you're different, what sort of solutions you, you um, offer for various problems out there, and you want to keep it very focused on them and what their pains are, what their challenges are. Not so much on you and your background and your office hours. That's all important, but on the home page, have more of a discussion about them and the motivation for them being there in the first place and tell them exactly how you can help them. The last tip I have for you on your website is to set up social media on your site. So make sure that you are integrating it with websites like Facebook and Twitter. And you know, you might be in a place right now where you just don't get the value of social media yet. And I totally understand that. But it's definitely what what we're seeing is that everything is moving in this direction in terms of marketing any small business and you're going to need a social media presence sooner than later. The average consumer out there just now expects it from you uh, and they want to build a relationship with you using these websites and getting to learn more about you. Um, you know, and that's, that's been a total game changer in marketing any kind of small business. So definitely make sure that you're setting up a Facebook fan page for your practice, uh, that you have a Twitter account and at the very least using those two websites and then integrating them into your medical website. So the internet and the web, your website is a big discussion. There's, there are a lot of moving parts, a lot of details that go into building an effective online presence. And it's a little out of the scope of this short video, but I just wanted to make sure you have these four elements in place and this is how you're going to optimize your site to get new patients in the door. The second key I have for you in marketing your medical practice is to stay in touch with everyone always. <laughs> so contact management is one of the most important systems to have in place within your business. Now what I've discovered is that most medical practices do not have a reliable and effective way to maintain contact with patients. So patient comes in for treatment, uh, they might come in for a few sessions or a few visits, and then you never see them again or they only call you know whenever they remember you and when they have some urgent need that needs that uh, that requires your attention so uh, you want to make sure that you're doing more than that you want to keep your name at the forefront of your patients minds at all times and you can do this primarily through social media through email and through having a really good blog or newsletter set up like a monthly newsletter and it's really not that hard. It's certainly not very expensive to do this. And it makes a huge difference to your bottom line if you're just keeping your brand and your practice name in front of people on an ongoing basis and encouraging them to stay in touch with you, to engage with some of your content, and of course, to call you and seek out your services when the need arises. So you can continually up update your audience with new tips, insights, and various updates about your practice and specials you're offering or you know anything that would be newsworthy within your practice. Like I said, not that hard to do, but most medical doctors completely miss this system and I think that's a big reason why they have more stress and perhaps even more struggle than they would like. My third key for you in marketing your practice is to be different. And I think this is a huge one. So I want you to consider using tools like online video, blogging, and social media to position yourself in a much different manner than any other practice in the local area. Uh, and make a strong pay commitment to patient education and show some of your personal life and philosophy through your marketing. So doing these kinds of 
strategies. Using these strategies is unique in the medical profession. And the goal here is to find that perfect balance between professionalism and sharing some of your personal life and being different. So like I said, the average consumer out there now expect some of these elements to be in place in your marketing. And if all you're doing is, is sharing generic information uh, and it's, it's rather sterile and there's not a lot of personal, and, you know, personal infusion of who you are into it, that's actually a turnoff for people now. They want to feel like they have some deeper relationship with their medical doctor and with the people in charge of their health. And these tools like online video and blogging can be tremendous assets for you to educate people, to build more rapport with them, to connect with them on a deeper level. Uh, and there's definitely a way that you can use these tools and still maintain a high level of professionalism. Most doctors won't use these tools because they think it, it automatically sort of breaches confidential, um, not confidentiality, but professionalism uh, and makes them look a little too soft maybe or something like this. But trust me, you can use these tools to really effectively get out there and connect with a much bigger audience uh, and make them want to work with you because you're different and you're showcasing some uniqueness in the way that you market yourself and you're willing to share a little bit more value and be a little bit more personable in the way that you market. That makes a huge difference to people right now uh, and it can really help the bottom line of your practice. So if you like these three basic tips, I have two resources to share with you here. The first one is to go to www.prosperouspracticenow.com and check out my online membership to help your practice thrive. And this membership is just packed with training on various facets of marketing and practice management. And as a medical doctor, you'll definitely see a lot of value in there, a lot of very practical tips that you can implement immediately to increase your bottom line. The second uh, suggestion is to go to dreampracticewebsites.com and click the contact button to set up a free consult with my web designer, Rachel. And she can definitely help you get a, a medical website set up that is unique, that is very different and much higher end and more professional and frankly just better <laughs> than just about anybody else in your local area. So we've been doing web design for some time now, for many years. And Rachel's excellent at this, and um, we definitely try to build websites from uh, as much a marketing perspective as a design perspective. So we're happy to help you out with that. So I hope this video has helped you out, and uh, you're starting to think a little bit more like a marketer and seeing the value of that. And uh, the last suggestion is to go ahead and opt into my email list here. Just leave your name and email on this page. Uh, get my free starter kit. That has a lot of great resources in it as well that help you build a thriving practice. And that way we can stay in touch and I can keep you updated on news and events within the dream practice coaching world. Uh, and I'm definitely here for you to share as much value as I can and to help you in whatever way you need it. So thanks for watching. Uh, best wishes to your practice success and we'll be in touch soon.